One slightly tricky place that we might meet, multi-step expressions, is when we're stacking ratios or stacking percents. What do I mean by that? Well, let me tell you a story. Suppose that we know that 85% of the employees at a company work overtime but only 20% of those that work overtime work more than 10 hours of overtime. We would like to write an expression for the number of employees that work more than 10 hours of overtime in terms of the total number of employees. And having done that, say what percent of all employees actually work more than 10 hours of overtime. All right, now this is a simple percent application. Nothing's changing. So we want to use our simple percent formula, portion equals percent times base. And the variable we're going to be working in terms of is the number of total employees. All right, we want to give our expression in terms of the total number of employees. So we'll let x equal the total number of employees. So what are the parts of this problem? We have the part where some employees work overtime, and we have the part where some that work overtime work more than 10 hours overtime. In the part where some employees work overtime, the base is all employees. That's our x. The percent, we're told that 85% of employees work overtime. So 85% of employees, that's the base, work overtime, that's the portion. We want to do math to it, so we're going to write that 85% as 0.85. So portion equals percent times base. The number that work overtime is 0.85x. In the part of the story where some of the ones that work overtime work more than 10 hours. Now the base is the number that work overtime. The percent is 20 percent. And the portion is the number that work 10 or more hours. The base is the ones that work overtime, which we saw in the first part was 0.85x. So in the second part, the portion, the ones that work more than 10 hours, is 0.2 times 0.85x. So our expression then, the number that work more than 10 hours, is 0.2 times 0.85x. Simplifying that expression by doing this multiplication, I get 0.2 times 0.85 is 0.17x. So that's my expression for the number of, of employees that work more than 10 hours of overtime in terms of the total number of employees. Comparing that in form to my expression for the portion in general, right, if the base is all employees, that's x. And the portion is the number that work more than 10 hours over time. That's 0.17x. I just found that. 
then the percent must be the 0 0.17 part, or 17 percent. So this is taking our combined expression and interpreting it in terms of what the individual numbers represent. Before we can do that, we have to build the combined expression. Let's see another example where we're given a ratio rather than a percent. Suppose that we're told that the ratio of men to women on a cruise ship is 2 to 3, and the ratio of children to adults, that is men and women, is 2 to 5. Write an expression for the number of children on the ship in terms of the number of women, and then based on that expression, we're going to be able to say what the ratio of children to women is. So this involves ratios, and remember the way that we understand ratios. If we call our quantities quantity x and quantity y, then quantity y is the ratio of y to x times quantity x. With that in mind, and also keeping in mind that we want our variable to be, let's call it w, the number of women, we can put together the parts of this story. Right? We have a men to women part, and we have a children to adults part. So the first ratio we're told about is the ratio of men to women. Men to women is y to x. That means that the men must be quantity y, and the women must be quantity x. The ratio is 2 to 3. So the number of men must be that ratio times the number of women. Okay, so much for that. In the second part of the story, we're told about the ratio of children to adults. Children to adults is y to x. The children must be quantity y and the adults must be quantity x. And the ratio, we're told, is 2 to 5. OK. Adults. It says that the adults count the men and the women. So. We have W women plus two-thirds W men. Let's simplify this now rather than later. One W plus two-thirds W, you can use your calculator for this if you'd like, is five-thirds W. Therefore, the number of children is the ratio of children to adults times the number of adults. And so we have the number of children is two-fifths times five-thirds times the number of women. Simplifying by doing this multiplication, we get the number of children is two-thirds the number of women. That's our expression. Comparing that expression to our ratio equation, we see that this must be the ratio of children to women. So the ratio of children to women is 2 to 3.